Preparations are underway for tomorrow's inauguration where Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin will be sworn in as Virginia's 74th governor. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco spoke with Youngkin today. She's live at the state capitol with more on his day one plan and what this moment means. Jackie. Yeah, well, a Republican hasn't been sworn into a statewide office in Virginia since 2010. But tomorrow, that trend comes to an end. A new GOP governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general all taking power with a promise to change the trajectory of the state. On the eve of Inauguration Day, Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin cleaning up Richmond's slavery reconciliation statue. He says a symbol of a dark past and progress to come. You can get a lot done when you all come together and do it in unity. It's a message Youngkin is expected to echo in his inaugural address on Saturday after taking the oath of office as the 74th governor of the Commonwealth, taking the reins following two Democratic terms. Solemnly swear. Youngkin's day one game plan packed with dozens of campaign promises, including expanding school choice, increasing law enforcement funding, firing the parole board, slashing taxes, and cutting back business regulations. We asked when Virginians can expect executive actions, banning critical race theory, and ending a statewide school mask mandate. Well, the first business day for me is tomorrow. And so we're going to work tomorrow and you're going to see a lot of movement get started. Capitol Square closed as setup continues. Public ceremony kicking off around noon, featuring a 19 gun salute by the Virginia National Guard. Guard members will also fly overhead in F-22 fighter jets and later lead the parade. Captain Adrian Fonville is one of more than 200 members involved. Oh, it means the world to me to see an event like this take place. Wouldn't rather do anything else on that day. Now, following that parade, the new governor is going to be trading ball gowns for boots. Zach Brown Band is performing at Main Street Station, though you do need tickets to attend that event. However, inauguration weekend is going to be wrapping up with one last event open to the public. It's going to be an open house at the executive mansion on Sunday. Stay with us throughout the weekend for full coverage of these festivities. But for now, live at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.